Hello dear friends, welcome to another beginner's hip session. Today's session we're gonna focus on double pigeon butt. Double pigeon is something that we do at the end of our practice. So I will go deep down detail into double pigeon a little bit throughout the end of our practice. But for now we just close our eyes in a comfortable seated position. And then start tuning with our breath, inhaling deep from our nose, in filling all the belly up with breath. And exhale it out very gently, very slowly. Inhale deep. The reason that we take our focus on our breath is that because we use our breath within our practice to give life to our body. An asana practice without the presence of the breath is no sufficient, is no real, is no present. So our breath is taking us into the present moment, feeding our body with love, with, with life, with energy. Feeling the breath traveling deep down to our hips, to our navel. And exhalation briefly, slowly, smoothly, breath out. One more breath. And exhale out. Very and with inhalation, keep your eyes closed, but lean up to the sky, meeting your palms together. And with exhalation, get your hands at the back of your body, place them down, fingers facing back. Keep your eyes closed. Get your chin up to the sky, opening your chest up. And exhale, come back to center, inhalation, going hands up, still keeping the eyes closed. Exhaling, taking the hands to your heart center and gently bowing to yourself. Setting an intention for your practice, for your full heart. And gently opening your eyes. One more time, inhaling, rising up all the way to the sky. And exhaling again, taking the hands at the back of your body, opening your chest up to the sky. Inhale, with exhalation, take your belly in, tuck your chin to your chest. And inhale again, open your chest up, Put some more pressure into your seat bones. Exhale again. Take the chin to your chest. One more time. Inhale, chest forward, up. Exhale, gently coming back to center. Inhaling, hands up to the sky. Exhaling, setting the hands down, forward to the floor. And we do the same move. Inhaling, chest up, chin up. Turn the hip up using your lower back. Exhale, taking the belly in, pushing your scapula, spreading them and pushing the floor. Inhaling, pulling the floor, chest forward, chin up. Exhaling, pushing the floor, belly in, chin to your chest. Inhale, chest forward, chin up. Gaze up, exhale one more time, belly in, push, and then gently coming back to your center, and then placing your feet your, as wide as your mouth, again getting your hands at the back of your body, and starting to drop your knees to your left, and then right left and then right left and then right and now 
we go left while we go left this time we take the hands off the ground rising up on top of our left hip a little bit twisting our body towards the left side you can get your hands to your heart or they can stay in cactus pose again coming back to center raising both knees up gently dropping the knees to the right side this time twisting our body towards the right if you cannot to get your hands off the ground you can still put your hands on the ground again we go left chest a little bit towards left and then we come back to center and we go right knees right twisting the body right one more coming back to center dropping the knees to the left twisting to left as much as we can and coming back to center, inhale, and then going to right side, last time, chest to the right. And then very gently coming back to center, and then crossing the legs, placing our hands forward, and taking our legs back to tabletop position. Now, with inhalation, I press my belly down, coming to cow, gazing up. With exhalation, belly in, pushing the ground, cat pose. Inhale, chest forward, cow pose, belly in, chin up. Exhale, push the ground, belly in, spread your scapulas, push your t-shirt or your back up. One more time, coming to your cow, gazing up. And then exhalation, coming back to your center. Now inhale left leg straighten it back and exhale bend the left knee and start pushing the air up with your left hand pulsing for four, ten, nine, eight, five, four, three, two. now one push as much as you can up and then gently draw a big circle from outside getting the left knee closer to your left armpit and then left knee travels next to the right knee and then opening it up again another big circle coming to the left armpit traveling to right knee and three more big circle very big circle two more and the last one big circle draw it and then bring the left knee down and then very gently set your hip down coming to your cobra inhale keep your toes tight exhale coming to your child pose toes tight inhale come to cat exhale leave the hip down opening your chest forward for your cobra as much as you can don't let your ears drop down. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. And then gently exhale. Keep down to your heels. One more time. Inhale, come forward, cat. Exhale, leaving the hip down, hands strong. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Open your chest. Take another inhalation here. Exhaling, setting the hip down again and very gently coming back to tabletop position to the center inhale right leg goes back bend the knee and start kicking the air for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 so one with one a big circle from outside right knee travels to right armpit says high to left knee goes up again a big circle again right armpit left knee three more big circle two more draw it draw it draw it draw it so last one as big as you can very nice and then gently setting the knee down and then again this time hip forward Open your chest, keep the shoulders away. This time, untuck the legs behind, open your chest, exhaling, taking the hip down to your heels. Inhaling, coming back to cat pose, 
exhaling, leaving the hip down, opening your chest to your cobra. One more inhalation here. Exhale, hip down to your heels to child pose. One more time, inhale, cat. Exhale, hip down. This time, tuck the toes behind and gently send the hip back. And then from here, very slowly coming back again to tabletop and raising your knees up, 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 up to your downward dog, pushing with your hands as much as you can and then very gently taking your knees down again to the floor. Very nice. Inhale, gaze up, look up, push the belly down. With exhalation, pull the belly in, cat pose, raise your knee off the ground, pushing your legs and your knees, your hip up to downward dog and then very gently set your knees down inhale open your chest forward exhale again round your back pull the belly in push the knees and go to your downward dog and then staying here a couple of breaths you can pedal in your downward dog one heel at a time don't rush inhale with exhalation, right heel, push it, bend the left knee. Inhale here, wait. With exhalation, bend the right knee, push the left heel as much as you can. Wait here, inhale. Exhale, push the right heel, bend the left knee. One more time. Inhale, wait. Exhale, push the left heel. Pull the right knee and then both feel push it on the ground and start taking small steps towards your towards the front of your mat. You can keep the knees bended depending on your hip and hamstring flexibility coming forward of your mat and inhaling looking halfway through to Ardha Uttanasana and exhaling down to Uttanasana and then holding from your elbows and then hanging down for a couple of breaths, feeling the back of your legs, your hamstrings, your lower back, lengthening down the ground for another two breaths. For one more. Now I want you to keep your elbows, keep holding your elbows. Bend your knees slowly, slowly around your back, building your spine on top of each other, rising up all the way to the sky. Keep holding your elbows. Get your hand from your elbows rising, opening your chest up. And then exhalation, very gently, straight spine going down again. If you like, you can bend your knees. Inhaling, rounding your back, rising up, opening your chest, getting your head in between your hands, rising your chest up, and then exhaling again, going to Uttanasana. You can bend the knees, you can keep them straight how you wish, but just keep feeling your hips and your hamstrings. Last time, bending your knees, rounding your back, very gently rising up getting your head in between your arms and then from here gently open your arms let them fall down to your body to tadasana in tadasana the the big toes are together i'm gazing straight forward taking deep breaths Mountain pose, staying like a mountain. Getting ourselves ready for the rest of the practice. For one more deep breath, awareing of your breath. Very nice. Now I want you to spread your legs as wide as your mat for our couple of dynamic malasanas. Now hold your elbows again, but this time we are holding from the top. Keep your elbows as same as your shoulders. And now from here, we are gently keeping the back straight and lowering down to Malasana as low as we can get. Staying here one breath, 
rising up again, getting the hand in between the hands, opening the chest, inhale with exhalation. Start bending your knees, lowering down as much as you can get, but keep the hands as high, same size as your shoulders. And then again, heat up, rising up, getting the hands back, opening your chest. And one more time, get your hands in the middle, lowering down to your malasana. Stay in your malasana for three, two, one very nice hands forward hip up straightening your legs sending the right leg back and right knee travels the mat going to your lizard get your hands a little bit back where your feet is so here untuck the toe behind push the hip forward and the chest forward hip down chest forward inhale with exhalation get the hip back try to straight your left leg and then flexing your left foot towards your body. Inhaling, coming forward, pushing the chest forward, opening the chest forward. Exhale, again, come back, belly in, straighten your left knee and flex the left foot. One more time, come, push the hip down. And now I want you to come on top of your fingertips and then raise your chest a little bit more up to push your hip a little bit more down very nice for one more breath now we are increasing the intensity get your left hand on top of your left knee and right hand on your wrist and then from here go back to center inhale exhaling to your lizard pose pushing your hip down one more inhale come up exhale to your lizard pose pushing your hip down last one you can do this come on rise up inhale exhale stay here and now get the hands up interlace the fingers index finger showing up kali mudra lengthen your body up to sky for five four three two One, very nice, gently send the hands down and then come to the outer edge of your left feet and with your left hand, push your left knee outside as much as you can. If you can, lean back to straighten your left elbow, left elbow is straightening while you're pushing the knee and opening your chest up for free breath, two, one very nice coming back to center placing your left hand down now get your hip up to relax your right quads a little bit and then set it down again now here i want you to come to the outer edge of left foot again but here instead of using your left hand i want you to dynamically push your left knee towards the left side swinging it like in butterfly but pushing your left knee by using your hip for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 open it open it open it very nice last two three one restore and now from here keep the left foot going left side as much as it can and then this side at the same time you'll raise your left leg up left hand up reaching up to sky inhale exhaling send the hand back towards your right foot opening your chest back up inhale send the left arm up and with exhalation lean forward with the left hand as much as you can you can come on your fingertips you can come on your right elbow if you like leaning forward keep pushing the left knee to the side for another five you can please use your right hand to support you to not to fall down on your left hips and reaching as forward as you can with the left arm if you stay somewhere like this and just cannot reach forward but can come to the outer edge just stay here pushing your left knee as much as you can actively to the left side but keep the leg keep the feet active for another two and one 
very nice gently come back to center get your hands next to your feet get your left feet back and sit on top of your heels into hero pose to rest here a little bit and close your eyes feeling your roots growing down to earth we are here to open up the hips even realize them to be aware of them to see that we have a lot of little muscles around our hip joint and then gently opening your eyes moving forward coming to tabletop position tucking your toes to your mat and you remember we did this before now from here we're gonna lift the knees off the ground just an inch or a couple of centimeters and then from here inhale with exhalation come to your downward dog actively inhale bring your knees down but don't touch the ground exhale downward dog inhale bring the knees don't touch the ground exhale downward dog inhale bring the knees don't touch the ground exhale downward dog last three each and every downward dog I'm pushing the ground with my hands and each and every downward dog, I'm pulling the belly in. Last one. Very nice. Staying in your downward dog for three breaths. Downward dog is one of, one of the most profound asanas. Here I'm stretching my shoulders, my hamstrings, my hips, my back, my lower back my arms a lot of stuff um this is one of the first handstands of our yoga journey so i have a lot of power in my hands pushing my body towards the sky for one more breath very nice and then again gently moving moving forward with step by step coming to the forward of our mat inhaling gazing forward up halfway through exhaling down to the floor inhaling bending the knees building the spine on top of each other rising up all the way to the sky exhale hands to heart center very nice inhale reach up all the way to the sky exhale going down to uttanasana and taking going down as much as we can and now bend the knees rise up one more time all the way to the sky inhale exhale take the hands to heart center spreading the legs as wide as your mouth again inhale take a deep breath with exhalation set your hip down to malasana and then hands forward send the left leg back putting the left knee setting the left knee down to the ground and coming to lizard at this side pushing the hip down and chest forward inhaling exhaling belly in pushing the hip back straightening the right leg and flexing the foot again move forward push the hip down chest forward exhale belly in straighten the right leg pull the foot feet towards you one more time come forward push the belly down exhale come back and the last time push the hip down chest forward and from here come on top of your fingertips pushing the hip a little bit more down and then raising your chest a little bit more up and now we take it one more step right hand comes to your right knee left hand comes to your wrist and then from here what i do i come to the middle to the center inhale exhaling pushing my hip down and forward inhale coming back to center exhaling push it down and forward inhale coming back to center last time exhale push it down and forward and then from here inhale left hand and right hand up interlace the fingers index finger is showing up to Kali Mutra gaze up to your hands for five four three two one very 
very gently setting the hands down and then taking the right hand on top of your right knee and then coming to the outer edge of your right foot pushing your right knee from away from your body and opening your chest up for another three breaths two very nice come back to center placing your hand down and now this time we go to the outer edge of our foot as much as we can and we start pushing the right knee to the out using our right hip the outer edge of right hip for another 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 2 1 very nice now keep pushing it till as much as you can and raise your right hand up inhale with exhalation, right hand goes back, reaching to the left foot, inhale another breath up and exhale, lean forward, you can lean forward, you can stay here, you can go on top of your left elbow, but keep pushing the right knee to the right side for another five breaths. Four, don't drop to the left side, Make sure that your hips are staying square and then you're pushing yourself towards the right side as well and your knee as well for another three, two, one. Very nice, guys. Coming gently back to center and then very slowly getting the right leg back. And this time, get your feet to forward sitting on top of your hip legs forward first of all get the feet forward shake them you will be hitting the ground getting them ready before going to the double pigeon going to the butterfly getting your feet together and then to the balakonasana get them as close as to your body don't don't round your back keep your chest forward and then from here very controlled like we did just before in the lizard, pushing your knees down. You can keep your feet active here and keep your also the movement active. So I'm not pushing it and leaving it. I'm actively pushing, pulling, pushing, pulling, pushing, pulling. So control is on me. If you feel anything on your on your knees, stop the movement. Don't push yourself too hard and now stop the movement and push your knees down as much as you can and get your he hands at the bottom of your feet and then open your chest forward and push the knees down or three two one nice now we go to our double pigeon starting with the left leg down so get your left leg parallel to the front line of your mat i'm turning like this so you can see me. my left leg is parallel to the front line of my mat i'm going to draw a triangle with my knees and my hips so now get your right foot and place your right heel on top of your left knee so most of us gonna have this knee maybe here even maybe not possible to put this knee to the knee to the to this heel to the knee so you can a little bit modify it by taking it a little bit more forward or a little bit more down but the idea is to get it on top of our knee so from here if this knee is like this you can place your left hand down and then gently, slowly start pushing this right knee on top of the left heel that is on the ground. Very gently, but pushing is not from sky to earth. Pushing is mostly from my hip to my knee. So I am a little bit pushing my knee to open it to the right corner, taking some flesh, taking some elasticity of the hip, and pushing my right knee like this. 
very nice as i said you can get the heel a little bit modified as much as you could but keep feeling this hip so if you're good with it and if you push it all the way down that's okay if you couldn't do it that's okay just keep pushing it feeling your hip if you did it and you get your spine straight or if you are somewhere here you can gently try to get the left elbow forward touching it to the ground and pushing your right keep pushing your right knee with the right hand and stay here if this is too intense for you stay here for a couple of breaths enjoy it you don't have to go nowhere if this is where you feel it this is where you have to be only if you want to go further go further with me placing the right elbow down and then from here very gently getting your chest closer to your legs maybe even leaning forward with the hands as i said in yoga each and every asana has its variation some of the most basic variations it's also possible it was also possible for for me for us in the beginning but in time we start to, to start in some of the modifications and get ourselves used to into the asana and in time we go to a little bit more advanced asana but there is no importance in that there is no importance in which asana are you doing if the importance is the presence are you present here with your breath feeling your hips if you if the answer is yes we are doing the same same move if you're trying to do a version that you are not ready for you are just struggling you are just trying to hurt or injure yourself and definitely we are not in the same mode there definitely we are not in the same asana very gently coming back as how we went down rising up getting this hip away maybe shaking it a little bit just to give some relaxation to the right hip very nice and then we go of course like sun and the moon night and the day right and left we go to the other leg so get your right shin parallel to your front line of your mat and then your left heel on top of your right knee or you modify it as how you wish you can put it a little bit more down a little bit more in don't put it out put it in and then push it from here if possible on the knee and then from here as we did before we from the hip to knee we pushing the left knee forward corner towards the left not from up to down from hip to knee so that we can have that elasticity of the hip that we can open it up more without injuring the knee or anything so once you are comfortable here you know what to do you get the right elbow down and you stay here if it's this, this is very intense for you already you just stay here only if you want to take it a little bit more further you place the left elbow down as well and then from here you get your chest closer to your legs moving forward with the hands but keep pushing yourself with the hands your hip grounding your hip down the ground and taking deep and long inhalations for another five breaths breathe take a deep inhalation so you send some oxygen so you send some energy to all the way to your hips if the breath is shallow how come you can travel all the way down to hips through your nostrils make it stronger make it deeper so it reaches your roots for one more breath and then gently moving out as how you came 
very nice and then from here get your left feet outside of your right knee getting your right leg closer to your hip but set your hip down and then hug your left knee with your right hand twisting towards your left gazing towards your left placing your left hand at the back of your spine taking the belly in and gazing from the left shoulder for two again deep and long breath for one and then coming back to center changing the legs getting the right knee leg to the other side of the left knee and then hugging your left knee getting your right hand at the back of your spine and gazing from the right shoulder for three breaths belly in straight spine each and every inhalation i'm straightening my spine lengthening up to sky and each and every exhalation i am twisting a little more one more and then gently coming back to forward and then from here either going to any comfortable seated position for your meditation if not we're going to shavasana so last shavasana straight back laying down and then sending the legs forward taking the hands to the side of your body and feeling the energy that you awaken in your hips it is spreading all around in your shavasana shavasana is the asana that the mind is no more active it's not saying get the foot there take it here push it there it's rather calm chill just following the breath and the body is calm let the body down and start drifting deeper don't forget this is your journey which connects with home Go to the source of energy, the power, the consciousness. Namaste.